So welcome to another of our photo analyses. This one's a little bit different um, because we're actually going to try it on film. Following the suggestion of the release of the photo analysis of the Commando Vickers machine guns, uh, somebody asked if we could look at it on film, uh, look at films of the Vickers in action. So I thought, well, it's something we tried before, um, but couldn't get the software to work right. Somebody else has suggested uh, some Telestrator software. So we've downloaded that. Um, and it looks to seem working. So what we've done is we've identified this film off the Imperial War Museum, Machine Guns in Action on 43rd Wessex Division's front near Hill 112. Now, I'm, f I'm recording this intro after I recorded the film, so you'll see um, that I don't actually realise it's 43rd until I look at it. But the description we've got here, look, is men serving number 10 platoon battalion uh, as number 10 platoon uh, in c company of 43rd wessex divisions heavy mortar and machine gun unit the 8th battalion middlesex regiment are seen stripping and cleaning their vix machine guns during a brief lull in the fighting after a brief conference with the company commander uh, the captain in charge of the platoon calls the gunners to action stations from the shelter of covered dugouts the platoon fires its machine guns along fixed sites of the german front line just beyond my toll now I think that actually there's three bits of footage here. There's cleaning the guns, there's then a command post footage, and then there is um, the firing of the guns. I think that command post footage is actually mortar command post because the amount of mortar ammunition boxes around it. So I don't think that's a pl uh, the machine gun platoon or the machine gun companies, but clearly they worked very closely uh, with each other. So you can understand that. Uh, what date have we got on this? 24th of July, 1944. So let's um i hope you enjoy it uh, it's a bit new for me so do forgive me as i stutter through it uh but we'll certainly try and improve in the future so here we go let's see if this will work for us play and we'll have a few seconds while it just gets into the action and you can see that we've got these universal carriers on the right hand side here of i believe the 43rd division um, you can just see the emblem there now if we can just pause that because we can we can clear those uh, we've got a, a, another one up at the front here and, a, and one in the back here so it looks like it's um, a holding area and a section are getting ready to clean their weapons uh, worth pointing out here, that's actually a belt box carrier for the Vickers, not something I'd expect to see at this point in Northwest Europe, um, but really pleased to be able to, to, to spot that, um, something that they, they do exist, exist in reproduction as well, so um, yeah, great. Uh, we're saying that the carriers have the Stacy towing hitch as well that enables them to uh, tow six pounder anti tank guns, trailers, etc. Uh, that didn't feature on all carriers, but it was something that was being introduced, so what have we got? We've got a um, guy walk it, walking up the back here with the number four rifle. We've got um, the gun being brought across to, from the carrier and being mounted on the um, on the tripod there. Wearing his Middlesex Regiment flash there, so it is 43rd. Uh, they are the Machine Gun Battalion the Middlesex Regiment. Guy over here, look, you can see emptying the spare parts while it, trying to get that, um, get the kit ready. And they're then starting to strip down the gun. So he's taken off the flash eliminator and the muzzle attachment. You've then got the chap at the rear here taking out the lock. Um, and they do it, yeah. It's nice to see them working as a team. He's just unscrewed the muzzle cap. If you just want to um, just see, just roll back there a little bit, we can just see him just unscrewing that. So he's taking the muzzle attachment off, and then up here, he's unscrewing the muzzle attachment. Yeah, you can see he's not really thinking about that. You certainly don't need to. Um, so he, the, this chap here, has taken out the feed block, pop that down nice and safe. Um, <laughs> helpful chap over here, look. Uh, nice clasp knife fitted onto the back of his uh, trousers there. Now he's undoing, he's just undoing the fusee. So 11 2 on the flash limit. That probably means 11 platoon. Um, or 11, yeah, could be. Could be the gun um, number as well. So this is from another the other angle, actually. I think we were watching it from there, but now we're watching it from here. Um, so he's taking that fusee off, he's put the muzzle cup, fusee spring here, they're now stripping apart the lock, so he's undone the side levers, it's all falling apart on him. 
um, side levers, extractor levers are coming off there, then the extractor itself taking out the axis pins, he's just going back, he needs to shake out that tumbler, so he's got to use the T-fixing piece to put out the uh, trigger axis pin because it's under the tension of the lock spring there. Um, so that will go through, bing, and you should be able to pull that out, still under tension. Um, so what else have we got? So here the guns moving forward. Look at this. You know, look at this Jeep covered in ammunition boxes. I believe these are P th P59s. You can just see the Jeep census number on the side there. So that will interest a few. You've then got these long ammunition boxes that I think are for the 4.2 ammunition uh, mortar ammunition. So you've got um, I th oh, I think it's eight rounds in there. I'm not hundred percent sure, so I'll apologise for that. But you can see them being fitted, um, which is, which is great. Uh, so let's carry on. Um, guys, getting out. So this is D Company by the looks of it here. Look. So let's just pause that again. You can see. Um, no, you can't see it quite easy, so easily now. But you can see the 64 on the ammunition box there. That's 64 of the machine gun battalion. Um, I was going to say it's D Company because that's the mortars, uh, which would make sense, but now it looks like something different. Uh, it looks like the bridge plate numbers are painted on there. Um, so he's got his map board coming down there. You can see his insignia up here, um, 43rd Div stuff. This is obviously the battalion or company headquarters, but it looks like maybe platoon headquarters. Um, you know, Bren gun out there. He's conferring, so it's a major. So that would coincide with um, one of the company headquarters, um, or certainly in, in telling the uh, platoon headquarters what to do. Nice protractor there, look, uh, service protractor. We could probably, if we um, dug into the war diaries, be able to identify what map they're actually looking at. What have we got? So we've got some more insignia in here. So this is printed flashes eight, uh, of the 8th Battalion Middlesex Regiment attached to the 43rd Division. So he's, they're leaning on compo crates. Look at all these. Yeah, mortar HE on the ammunition boxes there. Um, nice to see guy just wearing his jumper with his web equipment across the top there. An officer by the looks of it. And then we've got the machine guns in their positions. Now these are set up on their spiders. We've talked about spiders before uh, in relation to the universal carriers. And look at these guns. They're, they're firing. They're doing quite a bit of uh, you know, fire here. But they're camouflage. The, the, the barrel jackets are camouflaged, they're painted. Um, we've got one numbered there as well, no, two numbered. And then you've got these belt box carriers, uh, which is great. So we've got painted barrel jackets. We've got number three there, number three gun. Um, this is the spider. This is the metal steel, arrange, uh, steel sort of frame. This painting on the water jackets, painting on the barrel casing too. So the barrel, uh, that's the barrel casing cover that it's, bit, it's actually painted over the top of. Um, you can see these dial sights. We'll just pause that there. That dial sight is looking across here. It's looking at the aiming lamp or the number one gun, possibly. Um, it should be number one gun, but if it's working independently or as a section, it will be the aiming lamp or aiming post. So that's what he's aiming off. He's not actually you know, looking at the target or he's not aiming on the target. He's laying off of the um, aiming lamp. So this is indirect fire. Uh, so there we go, that's all the footage we had. Hopefully that was interesting. Please do let us know. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.